Thank you very much and a warm welcome to everyone to this very special occasion. Um, I think many of us, including Catherine, have wondered if this, this day would ever come about. Um, but it has. I remember having a conversation with Catherine some time ago and saying, well, you never know what's around the corner. And now we do. It was Alan. <laughs> Mary and I are so delighted and so pleased that that corner was turned and that from today, Catherine starts a new chapter in her, in her life with you as her husband. Thank you. Colin, thank you for those very kind words. Um, from the very beginning, Mary and yourself, you have welcomed me into your family and I'd like to thank you for the warmth and kindness over the last few years and also for keeping a relatively straight face when I ask your permission for Catherine's hand in marriage. <laughs> and also, Mary, I assume those were tears of joy. <laughs> I'm not sure. There was the proposal, the first one. Yes, there's been more than one. <laughs> Well, that didn't go according to plan. The fireworks finished before we got there. <laughs> then en route to the swanky venue, I thought I might propose outside the restaurant where we had our first date. However, a drunk Rastafarian <laughs> put pay to that as he staggered past, muttering something. Um, and to top it all off, I thought one more chance in the restaurant. However, <laughs> only to be trumped by a 21-year-old couple sat next to us who had a rock on her finger the size of Somerset. So I decided then, not tonight. So how I've managed to get here is a bit of a mystery, if I'm honest. Well, I think those of you who know Catherine well will agree with me that she's a very positive girl. She's all... Always ready for a challenge, always ready to take on new activities, very positive, and she's, she's always ready to, to take up new challenges, and self, she has a, quite a self-belief in what she can achieve. Um, as well as taking up challenges, of course, she has presented Mary and myself with some challenges. She's grown up, especially in her early teenage years. What she has done since, of course, is continue with scuba diving and she's done many trips, mostly on her own, travelled to many diving centres throughout the world, uh, including the Galapagos Islands, um, Oman and Bali. You have indeed. And I have to say, she gets that spirit of adventure, of course, from her father. So, so a big thank you to him, wherever he is. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand for the arrival of our bride? Good afternoon, everybody, and a very warm welcome to Stone Eastern Park, Miss Alan and Catherine's wedding day. Alan and Catherine have found in each other love, happiness, and fulfillment. And now they wish to publicly affirm their relationship and offer to each other the security which comes from legally binding vows sincerely made and faithfully kept. I promise to give you my love and friendship, to be there for when you need me the most, to laugh with you and to cry with you, to confide in you, to trust you and to comfort you, to support you. All that I have, I share with you. I promise to respect, encourage and cherish you. I will be a true and loyal friend. I promise to be faithful to you always. These promises I make for the rest of my life. I give you my hand and my heart, and I give you this ring as a token of our language. Alan and Catherine, you have made the declarations required of you by law, 
the solemn and binding promises to each other in front of your witnesses, the family and your friends. Hold this moment in your eyes. Look about you and drink it. Carry it with you and never forget it, because wherever you go, this is going to be one of the pins in the map of your life. Because it gives me very great pleasure to announce that you are husband and wife. Congratulations! <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. When she finished her university course, she decided that she would uh, do some diving and combine it with some conservation work. And she signed up with an organization called Frontier to do three months marine conservation work um, in Mozambique. And the first letter that we got back. Oh my goodness, The oh. first. Oh. I think I might have it. The first. The very first letter that I got back kind of sums up what I was trying to say about Catherine. So she writes on the 26th of April 1996, Dear Mum, Dad and Jane, it's now been a week since I left home. I've been bitten, scratched and bruised and now have the beeps. <laughs> I would like to congratulate Catherine and Papa on their very special day. When, when my Papa asked him to be his best man, I thought about it for a moment and then decided it would be great to be stood beside him. He told me that at the reception all I had to do was to say nice things about him. <laughs> However, I did think he might be better off with someone else. Good afternoon everybody and a very warm welcome to all our family and friends on this very special day. What I would like to say to my beautiful wife, Catherine, over the course of the last year, I have watched in amazement that you've carefully detailed, planned, and some may say, project managed, <laughs> every aspect of our wedding, with some input for myself, may I say. And we'll remember this wedding day for the rest of our lives. But for me, that's all just immaterial compared to my appreciation of you. Thank you for being my best friend, my soulmate, and now my wife. You're a hustler, you've got to hustle. There ain't no time for sleep. Just keep on moving, do what you're doing. You always play for keeps. Take down my rival No, I ain't gonna stop